What's up, YouTube? Tim here, XGP Rockarchy, also Gito Gaming Tabletop. So I live stream over on Twitch as XGP Rockarchy. So sometimes I'll say that in my intros. But how's it going, guys? Today I wanted to talk about Territory Tribes at War. I have played the game. I've got it right here sitting on the shelf. And I never know how to start these videos. So we're just going to dive in, talk about the game and uh, some of the unique things about it. So... This game is played kind of like in lanes and stuff like that. One of the things that really brought me to want to even do a review for this game uh, was the artwork in this. It's got that very Magic the Gathering style artwork, but it's got some other elements uh, and mechanics that I was interested in that were kind of unique. So there's some hidden spells. So it kind of reminds me of Yu-Gi-Oh, like trap cards. Um, and then you have... No mana base, so that's really unique. So you actually just have to have food in certain territories to let you play a certain amount of uh, champions, and you can only have three champions uh, per territory. And you don't actually attack each other. You're actually trying to take out the territories, relics, and champions to gain points, and the first one to 15 points wins the game. So the artwork is what really pulled me into this game, and that hit right on with the box art. All the cards, everything looks amazing. Uh, you guys could check it out here on kickstarter.com. That's the page that I have pulled up right now. And uh, it's it's really cool. So let me just read this one paragraph right here. Uh, so it is two to four players. It's ages eight and up. It is time is 30 to 60 minutes. I think we went to the 60 minutes and that was even learning the rules on our first run through. So that's pretty on like 30 to 60 minutes, even if you're learning the rules. Uh, if you can get a nice little combination going. So my wife, she had a lot of uh, spells that she was casting out of her deck. And then she had these uh, triggers that would go off. Every time she cast a spell, she had three cards that would go off at a time. And uh, compounding on top of each other. And then she would have this one creature, which was... Because she was casting a lot of spells, this creature got a plus one to its attack for every single uh, spell card. Every pure spell specifically, in her discard, and she had a, a creature that was doing like 14 damage every time it would strike uh, in a certain territory, in the main territory, so she got it pretty early. Uh, but Territory Tribes at War is a strategic card game that emphasizes card placement, movement, and combat. Unlike collectible card games, Territory offers a complete experience right out of the box. Players have countless strategic decisions, minimal randomness, and endless deck-building options. In Territory Tribes of War, war board game elements such as placement and movement are crucial to devising successful strategies and ensuring your tribe's survival. The core game set includes tokens and dice to manage status effects akin to contemporary board games. So the dice that we got was a couple of D20s. I noticed one of them, because it's a review copy, it kind of had some stuff that I know is not going to come in the actual game, so it had like a Magic the Gathering uh counter dice i understand uh, we've done reviews on you know pre uh pre mass production copies so we understand that the pieces we have are not going to be the final but the cards are a nice thick uh sturdy cardboard i really hope that that carries over into uh the final game i know that the cards they felt kind of like they were from game crafters so they had that really thick um no, real, not really flexible, but I like that. I like the cards that are sturdy. Again, I'm coming back to that artwork. That artwork is what pulled me in to even contact uh, and ask if they had any review copies for me to do this video. And um, if you guys are looking for a how to play, it's here on the Kickstarter page, but I will also link this Kickstarter page and their how to play down below. Um, but yeah, so you got your five factions. Um, I'm probably not going to remember this, but you got... Dasis or Dasis. You got um the pack. We got the mercenaries, the machine, and then the underlings was the one that I played. So the underlings are kind of like your undead pack, kind of like your uh orcs, and then Dasis. Uh I really don't know how to describe them, but that was what my wife used and the spells that we constructed her deck with made her very overwhelming in the end of the game. Like, in the beginning, I was pinging her for two off of my Relic uh, by sacrificing cards, which is the underlings. They want power in the discard uh, to give creatures certain abilities. And a lot of their cards, 
I don't think a single creature had any shield. So they're like they're the undead type. So that's just that that's their thing. So no shields, just going in with dead. We want these guys to die. We want them to go in the graveyard. That's going to give us a bonus to our other creatures. Um, and I only played the underlings, and she only played Dasus. Uh, so the pack, mercenaries, and the machine, I can't uh, really say anything about those factions because we didn't play them. But the underlings, really good. We, you know, we only played uh, maybe four or five times, and the underlings are pretty pretty uh a nice flow so there's always something to do there's always something going on i did i did but that's my personal way of playing i think it was my fault i kept running out of cards uh you start with 10 cards in hand so it's like okay so you got 10 cards how are you gonna run out of cards and i was just filtering through the cards making them you know playing them in different areas doing their thing um but that's one of the things too is that this game you play your cards in certain spots so you can see right here on this little game map you put your territories here, relics will go here, champions will go here. You can only have three. You've got your turn tracker, so you know what turn you're on. Because as you put uh, territories down, they're going to move up a space. So that they uh, every time they move up, they're going to upgrade their food amount. Um, so you place one here. Once that hits the third level, then you're going to come over here. Um, so basically turn three, you're going to put another one out here. And then by turn four five six ish uh you're gonna put another one over here which you can't see because of the box there um but yeah i mean you can see all the the four player set up here but it's kind of cool and you got two decks so you got your main deck which is your 60 cards you can only have three copies of a card um in the deck and then you have your territory deck and it's nice because you're not randomly drawing a territory you actually get to choose what territory you start with and then you're going to choose the next territories that go on your left and your right. And then, depending on where you put those, it's going to affect your champions. So I had, like, Absorb 3. So very early in the game, I was able to absorb most of what my wife was doing. But then by the time it got to the point where she was swinging 15 every turn from casting a spell, because her discard just kept getting bigger, it was crazy. She even liquidated my discard because she kept activating this uh, card where it let her, she may put three of my cards for my discard back into my deck. And I'm like, well, why would you want to do that? And she's like, well, you do have that creature over there that's getting a plus one to your attack for every uh, champion in your discard. I was like, yeah, I guess so. I guess you are kind of taking some power away from me. So you kind of liquidated my power. Uh, the last game we played, she beat me 15 to 10. So it was a nice balanced game load really well um and we had a few questions on like uh the discard mechanic because you have to discard a card to activate uh the discard mechanic on cards but you can only do that once per turn so it's and it's it's one card or one card per discard effect so you have to discard a card to to trigger that card and then discard to trigger that card discard to trigger that card so but you can't just dump your whole hand of 10 cards and be like, okay, this guy's going to fire two points 10 times, so that's 20 damage coming at you. Which, if they have a two shield... I don't wonder how that, was gonna, how that would work now. You can't do it, so it doesn't matter. You can't do it, so it wouldn't even matter. Uh, but you guys can check out the Kickstarter here. Uh, like I said, I'll have that link down below. Uh, my overall thoughts about the game... Is, I, I don't know if you could tell, I'm super excited about it. I hope that it creates and gets up to that $8,000 goal for uh, its backers. And I know this is their first time uh, posting it here on uh, Kickstarter. Hopefully, if it does not hit it, hoping that they don't give up on it, I'll push it uh, and try to get it published. Um, either pitch it to a publisher or try and do another Kickstarter or maybe go to GameFound or something that would be uh, really cool. Uh, so let's go through some of the stuff over here on the Kickstarter. So available rewards, you got machine versus underlings, dual deck. So you can get two decks, 28 bucks, uh, and just have it for a two-player kit. And then you've got a few of those options that are like that. And then you have the core set. 
territory. So it's going to come with the complete set of territory. It includes 252 cards. So it's 25 territories, 225 main cards, and two guide cards. Uh, then you're going to have 22 dice. You're going to have 50 game tokens for your poison and can't attack, all that stuff. So there's some tokens that make it feel kind of like a board game, but it, it plays very well and plays as a card game. Um. Then you got more dual deck choices. Full set. And then the premium is four players. You get four mats. Uh, and they're nice little cloth mats. It's a little different than the neoprene mats uh, that you usually get with games. But these are like a cloth material. And um, they're different. I wasn't sure how that was going to work, but they work. And yeah, it's like, uh, it's really fun. Um, really cool. And uh, I think you guys should definitely check it out. Come over here, watch this video. Uh, there's a how to play video, which I'll, I'll link that to the YouTube, but it's down here somewhere. There it is, learn to play. And then you have a sample game. So it's Pack versus Dossus. Uh, so you guys could check that out. I'll link, I'll link both of these down below so you guys can see that. Right here is a rule book you could click on. Like everything's on here. This is a well put together Kickstarter. You guys should definitely, definitely check it out. Um, but like I like I was going to say earlier, my final thoughts. I'm super excited about the game. Uh, I think the art's great. I think the mechanics are good. There was a few situational things that we had to ask about, like uh, like poison, and so that happens at the end of the turn, but can it be absorbed? Stuff like that. So I had absorb effects from my territory going to my creatures. And my wife had poisoned a couple of my uh, creatures. So I wasn't sure if that was going to be able to absorb that into turn. Because they hadn't taken their first initial point of damage. So just small things that happen in games that are situational. Uh, that we had some questions about. Uh, but we reached out and all the answers, all the questions were answered. So... It's very, very exciting to see this. I'm, I'm doing that thing I do all the time where I'll just ramble on. But I think you guys should check it out on Kickstarter. I think it's a solid game and uh, plays really well. The artwork is very intriguing, and that's what brought me in. The box design is really cool. Um, the I guess I will have one tiny, tiny negative but that was mostly because i wasn't paying attention i was looking for a keyword and there's a whole list of keywords on one page which is your passives and then there's another page where the text is bigger and that's your active ones so all the terms are in there it was my fault that i didn't see it but i was kind of i'm kind of wondering if maybe that could be laid out just a little bit different to where it's just all the key terms are just all there they're on the I, I don't know. I don't I don't have an argument about it. It's not like it's like the smallest thing. Like the the font kind of threw me off on if I was still reading abilities if they were all on one page and I just missed it or which I did miss it because I went back into the rule book, found it later. But that's my the small tidbit thing that I would say like it probably doesn't need any adjustment. It's just me. It's my problem. So, but it was just the smallest thing. Uh, but anyways, that's going to conclude our thoughts and stuff and our review on Territory Tribes at War. We usually do how to play videos when we make these, but because they already have a how to play, we were just going to link that in the description below, which I have already mentioned a couple times. You're probably annoyed and tired of hearing me say it. But anyways, I'm going to get off of here. Uh, I appreciate you guys coming by. I thank you all for your, for your subscriptions and everything. And I know it's been, what, a year since I've made any content uh, last Gen Con. Um, so we're slowly getting back into things. Um, I don't have a setup to really do how to play videos. I don't have a place to put a camera or anything. So some things have changed. We're going to do the best that we can. If this game came to board game arena, that would be amazing too. So I'm just going to put that out there. Board game arena is a very awesome place. If you guys want to check out board game arena, you guys can go to boardgamearena.com. I'll put a link down in the description below for that as well. And you guys can do my invite code and uh, join us every Friday. We don't have a set time yet, but Friday nights we do Board Game Arena live. 
here on YouTube, on this channel. Uh, we'll eventually get a time to where we can do it, but because I go to school and my wife's a hairstylist, it's, you know, we got kids, family stuff, everybody's got something going on. So just play it by ear, join our Discord. Uh, it's all, yeah, just click all the links down below. I'll see you guys later. I appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you all later. Bye.